Hey, what's going on, you guys? Mr. Ready1235 here again. What's it been? A week now? Well, whatever. I've been busy listening to the new Filthy Frank double ego album from Pink Guy here. This album needs a little bit of an explanation. Uh, Pink Guy is the alter ego of YouTuber Filthy Frank. If you don't know anything about Filthy Frank, he uploads videos that are more on the weird side, more on the really extreme humor side, really sick humor, really racist, really on the edge. Really the type of stuff that if you're easily offended, you need to stay far away from. Along with Filthy Frank, Pink Guy is just another alter ego out of the many characters that he plays on his channel which is quite impressive for what he does. I mean, you can't really associate a certain character with another character when you watch his videos. He's a really good actor. And this is the Pink Guy album, one of his alter egos, and this album is filled with the same type of material as his videos. Really filthy, crude, just over-the-top humor. Now, I'm the type of person who doesn't get easily offended, so this type of stuff is just fine with me. I'm into Fenty Frank's videos. I think they're funny. I actually quite enjoy them. The worse, the better, in my opinion. There's actually a funny parody song on this album called In the Womb, based off of 50 Cent's which is about a, a fetus uh, coming in head first through a cervix and having a C-section. And uh, it's funny, near the end of the track he actually says that he listens to death metal because he's screaming and covered in blood. It's really funny. So that's pretty great. There's 30-something songs on this album in the downloaded version. If you go check out the download link down there below, it'll take you to a video where you can listen to a lot of songs from the album, but if you do the free download, you can get a little bit more songs. Some of my other favorite songs on here are Ramen King, Peanut Butter, their cover of Bitches Ain't Shit. Tribute to Ronald has to be one of my favorite songs that he's ever done. It's all about rapping about McDonald's, uh, meat and fries, and it's really, really good. I love the flow on this track. Most of these songs are also really short. I mean, I have a playlist here of 27 of my favorite songs from this album, and it only spends 38 minutes. So, I mean, you can listen to this album quickly, even though there's a huge accumulation of songs. But the funny thing about these songs is that they do not need to be any longer in length. They are perfect how they are. The song Peanut Butter is about getting peanut butter licked off your balls by a dog. The song Anal Beads might be the feel-good hit of the summer, honestly. So really beautiful ukulele melody spread in there with a little bit of like really cheap computer drum beats. There's a few interlude tracks in there like Birth of the Boss, which is really funny, and the song Gay Mickey which is just him impersonating Mickey Mouse and asking if you want to have anal sex. The song Friend Zone is hilarious, talking about how there's no such thing as the friend zone. The girls don't like you just because you're fat and gay, and that's just one of my favorite things that he's released. The music video for that is just great, too. The song Kill Yourself is really good. I really love the part, especially where he's talking about bronies. I have nothing against bronies, but that part's just, uh, I love how he wrote that. You just need to hear it for yourself. The song Erectile Dysfunction has this really cool part that reminds me of, like, the Sponge Bob interludes on like a slide guitar and then it has this really awesome fucking beat that goes along with like the cocking and shooting of a gun. It's really cool how he made that work. He's got a cover of Fuck the Police from NWA which is really good. He slows it down a little bit with ukulele. It sounds beautiful. The song Bad Words actually has like an electric guitar which adds a new sound to the album. The song Balls sounds like Stephen Hawking saying balls a whole lot. The song Took It In The Bottom is a parody of Drake's uh, Started From The Bottom. Took it in the bottom, now I'm queer! It's just funny as hell, you need to hear it yourself. The song Gimme the Pussy Boss gets stuck in my head constantly. I'll just be sitting there at work. Gimme the, gimme the, gimme the pussy balls. Gimme the, gimme the, gimme the pussy balls. The song You Got a Friend in Me is just uh, the same beat as the original You Got a Friend of Me from Toy Story, but he's impersonating Randy Newman in this hilarious, accurate way. And along with that, there are just so many other songs I haven't even mentioned on here, but those are just some of my favorites. Uh, this guy, he's just, he's just, he's really smart. He's a genius in the dumbest fucking way. I know I took this album review a little bit more seriously than some people have, just because I know that I shouldn't be taking it seriously. It's a fucking stupid as hell album. I mean, you just hear me talk about all these. These songs are ridiculous, but... They're funny to me, and they're produced well, and I think the raps are really solid on them, and might be one of my favorite albums of the year. I'm not even fucking joking with you. I mean, it's a total free download. Go check that shit out. If you're the type of person who gets offended easily, stay the hell away from this and Filthy Frank's YouTube channel, because you do not belong. But if you're like me and you're just open to fucking everything, I don't even care if you talk about dead animals like he does on one of the tracks on here, 
then go for it. Check it out. You're probably going to love it. And check out uh, Filthy Frank's YouTube channel as well, because it's just funny as hell, the videos he puts together. Hope you find some enjoyment in it, just like I do. Mr. Money 1235 I will see you guys later.